Nigeria is the first team from Africa to qualify for the World Cup, doing it with a game to spare after beating Zambia 10 at home on Saturday. The victory, clinched by Arsenal forward and substitute Alex Iwobis' goal with 17 minutes to go, ensured Nigeria will win Group B and qualify for its fifth World Cup out of the last six. Only the five group winners qualify from Africa. Tunisia could become the second team through later on Saturday, and Egypt can seal its place on Sunday. The remaining two groups will go down to the wire, and the last games next month, in a tight qualifying race on the continent. The game in 100 words or less just when we were oh so sure the Vancouver Whitecaps had solidified themselves as the cream of the Western Conference crop, Carl Robinson's side lands flat on its collective face in suffering a 30 defeat away to the New York Red Bulls a week later. A win would have put Vancouver, seven points clear for the time being of everyone in the West. Instead, Sporting Kansas City feature in one of two games in hand later on Saturday with a chance to close the gap to one. New York, meanwhile, needed just three more points to clinch the sixth and final playoff place in the Eastern Conference, which they did thanks to another standout, two-assist performance by Sasha K. L. Jeston. The 32-year-old set up goals scored by Daniel Royer and Felipe to take his average to 17 assists per season for the last three years. Bradley Wright Phillips bagged the other goal assisted by 18-year-old stud Tyler Adams. More USMNT routes Panama to boost WC Dreams in a big way three moments that mattered 33 feet, KL Jeston feeds Royer to make it 10, KL Jeston tallied his 50th assist in just under three seasons since returning to MLS, which positions him among Prestine Company. Royer still has plenty of work to do after getting on the end of Kill Jeston's ball, 58 feet, BWP dinks it past Ousted for 20, Wright Phillips should be lauded for the cheeky finish after carrying the ball 40 yards, but the real story here is the ball from Adams. Watch it and feel safe in knowing HES ready for the call, USMNT fans, 72 feet, Felipe hits a laser for 30, make that 51 assists for KL Jeston, who still had lots of work to do once inside the penalty area. The ball back for Felipe looks simple enough after all he did to keep it in bounds and create a bit of separation for himself. Follow all of PST's MLS coverage standing stats schedule man of the match Sasha KL Jeston goalscorers Royer 33 Wright Phillips 58 Felipe 72 feet follow it Andy MLS Accra Ghana up the Ghana Football Association has protested to FIFA over the performance of referee Daniel Bennett in a World Cup qualifier against Uganda, saying he denied the Ghanaians a legitimate late goal and also a penalty. The GFA says it wants the game to be replayed. Ghana and Uganda drew 0 in Uganda on Saturday, hurting Ghana's chances of qualifying for the World Cup next year in Russia. Egypt could take the qualifying spot from Group E if it beats Republic of Congo on Sunday. Ghana was emboldened by FIFA's unprecedented decision last month to order a South Africa-Senegal qualifier from 2016 to be replayed because of match-fixing by the referee. The Ghana Federation says it wants FIFA to examine the performances of Bennett and his assistant referees in its match. The GFA says it is questioning the disallowed 93-yard minute goal and penalty, as well as other decisions by the officials. Ghana had two goals disallowed for offside by Bennett of South Africa and assistant referees Eldrick Adelaide and Steve Marie, both of Seychelles. Frank Akiampong's appeal for a second-half penalty was also turned down. The GFA says it filed the protest with FIFA immediately after the 0-0 draw in Kampala. FIFA ordered South Africa's 21 win over Senegal last November to be scratched out and the game replayed after Ghanaian referee Joseph Lamptey was found guilty of fixing for giving South Africa a penalty for a non-existent handball. Lamptey was banned for life, and the replay could help Senegal qualify for the World Cup. Burkina Faso, which could be denied a place in Russia because of the South Africa-Senegal replay, has appealed FIFA's decision, arguing that ordering a replay is unfair on the other teams in the group. When Costa Rica plays host to Honduras on Saturday 6 p.m. ET, watch Live and Telemundo Deportes and Vivo, the U.S. national team will be watching intently as they look to Los Ticos for a massive assist in their own bid to qualify for the 2018 World Cup. Stream Costa Rica vs. Honduras as things currently stand, three points separate the USMNT from Costa Rica ahead of them and Honduras behind them. Having already qualified for next summer's tournament in Russia, Costa Rica have only a superior regional ranking for which to still play. 
Honduras, on the other hand, would leapfrog Panama for fourth place in the hexagonal with a win while remaining behind the Yanks on goal differential, setting themselves up for a finale day home clash with already qualified Mexico on Tuesday. Hit the link above to stream the game live. Follow it and eat MLSA roundup of Saturday's penultimate match day of 2018 World Cup qualifying action from all around Europe. More USMNT routes Panama to boost WC dreams in a big way. Bulgaria 01 France with one game left to play. France remain one point clear of Sweden in Group A following a nervy 10 victory away to Bulgaria on Saturday. Blaise Matuidi scored the game's only goal, in the third minute, as Didier Deschamps' side clinched a top-two finish in the group, guaranteeing at minimum a place in the qualification playoffs. Chelsea midfielder Golo Kante was subbed off with an apparent hamstring injury in the 34th minute. A victory over Belarus on Tuesday would see France qualify straight through to next summer's tournament in Russia. Should Les Bleus slip up, Sweden, who boast a massively superior goal differential 19-11 would need a superior result against the Netherlands to overtake them. Belarus 13 Netherlands Despite their own victory over Belarus, the combination of Sweden's 80 victory over Luxembourg and France's victory over Bulgaria, means the Dutch have been all but officially eliminated from contention to qualify for the 2018 World Cup. Needing to overturn to make up 3 points and 12 goals in the goal differential column in their finale against Sweden, the Irania will miss a second straight major international tournament Euro 2016. The Netherlands finished as runners-up at the 2010 World Cup and third place finishes in 2014. Bosnia and Herzegovina 34 Belgium Belgium clinched their place in Russia during the last international break, turning the rest of their Group H schedule into a chance to finally tune themselves and perhaps spoil the dreams of others. Saturday's seven-goal thriller against Bosnia went a long way toward doing just that, as the home side's defeat left the door wide for Greece to leapfrog their way into second place by two points. Unfortunately for the Bosnians, that's exactly what happened after Greece won away to Cyprus, 21. Jan Vertonghen marked his record teeing 96th cap with a goal in the 68th minute. While it looked set to be the game-winning goal, the Red Devils conceded an equaliser eight minutes from full-time, necessitating an 84-the-minute winner from Yannick Carrasco to go nine points clear atop the group. Thomas Manier fired the visitors ahead in the fourth minute, only to be pegged back by Philadelphia Union midfielder Harris Medunian in right on the half hour mark. Nine minutes later, Adam Visca made it 21 to the hosts. That lead would remain intact until the 59th minute, when Mishi Batshuyi equalised and set up the frantic final 30 minutes. Manchester United midfielder Marwan Fellaini picked up an injury, believed to be knee ligament damage, in the 29th minute. Initial reports have speculated he could be out for a number of weeks. Andorra 2 Portugal Portugal took care of business away to Andorra, thanks to Cristiano Ronaldo's 79th international goal in the game winner in the 63rd minute, but the reigning European champions remain second in Group B, three points back of Switzerland, though they possess an insurmountable goal differential advantage 26-18. As fate would have it, the second-place side hosts the leaders on Tuesday, needing three points to qualify automatically. Andre Silva completed the scoring four minutes from full-time. Switzerland 52 Hungary Steven Zuba scored twice in Switzerland's 52 route of Hungary, to go with individual tallies from Granis Jarka, Fabian Frey and Stephen Lichtsteiner. Elsewhere in UEFA WCQ Group A Sweden 80 Luxembourg Group B Faroe Islands 00 Latvia Group H Gibraltar 06 Estonia Cyprus 12 Greece Follow It Andy Demeles